Gunting Malaysia is suing 21st Century Fox and its soon-to-be new owner Walt Disney for over 1 billion USD. The casino operator is accusing the two companies of abandoning a 2013 deal for a Fox World theme park in its Resorts World Gunting complex. According to the suit filed in Los Angeles, Gunting said it had already invested 750 million USD in the project. It was preparing to roll out the theme park in the first half of 2019. However, Disney now wants the deal terminated as it doesn't want to be associated with the gaming business. Despite the tussle, Hong Leong IB Research believes the theme park will still proceed, possibly under a different brand. In the worst case scenario, it may involve a rebranding exercise which would incur additional capex. It adds that while the development will deter potential growth, the impact is less severe than the hike in gaming tax. HLIB has a whole call on both Gunting Malaysia and Gunting, with a lower target price of 3 ringgit 41 sen and 7 ringgit 18 sen respectively. The two counters took a massive tumble today, with Gunting Malaysia closing at 3 ringgit and Gunting falling to 6 ringgit and 38 sen. Petronas saw third quarter profit after tax jump by 43% to 14.3 billion ringgit, thanks primarily to higher revenue. Top line rose 19% to 63.9 billion ringgit, mainly driven by higher average realized prices for key products, alongside increased efficiency throughout the group. For the nine month period in FY18, Petronas saw PAT increase 50% to 41 billion ringgit, while revenue climbed 12% to 181.1 billion ringgit. President and Group CEO Tan Sri Wan Zulkifli Wan Arifin says the group is on track to deliver a strong year-end performance. The oil and gas giant will be maintaining its focus on driving efficiency efforts across all its operations. He says it will continue to maintain its prudent outlook while remaining steadfast in pursuing its growth strategies as the recent drop in oil prices demonstrate the volatile and cyclical nature of the industry. RHB Bank reported an 18% rise in third quarter net profit to 578.7 million ringgit thanks to higher Islamic banking income and lower credit loss allowance. Group revenue climbed 8% to 3.2 billion ringgit from just under 3 billion ringgit. As for its cumulative nine month results, net profit increased by 17% to 1.7 billion ringgit on the back of 9.4 billion ringgit in revenue. Group Managing Director Dato Kairu Saleh Ramli says the nine-month earnings are the lender's highest ever. He adds that the group exhibited resilience despite challenging market conditions and volatility in the global economy. Looking ahead, RHBC's loan growth being underpinned by the consumer segment. It expects to perform better this year. Tanaga Nacional expects its performance to remain positive for the year ending December 31, 2018. This is despite the global headwinds and the IMF's cut in global economic growth rate and as Malaysia revises downwards the projected GDP growth rate from between 5% 5 and 5.5% to 4.8% for 2018. The utility giant, which reported its third quarter results today, says earnings stood at 501 million ringgit on the back of 13.1 billion ringgit in revenue. Given the change to financial year end from August 31st to December 31st, there is no year-to-year -year comparison available. As for its nine-month period in FY18, TNB's net profit was at 3.9 billion ringgit as it reported stable revenue of 37.9 billion ringgit. Profit after tax was some 25% lower at 3.9 billion ringgit. President and CEO Dato Sri Engineer Asman Mohammed says TNB recorded outstanding achievement in Customer Satisfaction Index of 8.1 which is in the top quartile in the industry. TNB was also recently ranked fourth in the world by the World Bank's Doing Business 2019 report in ease of getting electricity. Kerjaya Prospect is eyeing an order book of 1.2 billion ringgit for FY19, which is 20% more than its 1 billion ringgit target this year. Executive Chairman Dato Ti Eng Ho says he expects the market next year to remain challenging. However, he believes the target is achievable given the group's strong balance sheet and good workmanship, which helps with a higher tender success rate. The construction firm currently has an outstanding order book of 2.8 billion ringgit with visibility for the next two and a half years. As for its tender book value, it is currently in excess of 1.5 billion ringgit, with several external jobs expected to be awarded next month. 
The group's year-to-date contract wins amount to 778.2 million ringgit.